Uh, I'm Jack. I'm your 2021 Vice President of Education. So what does being VP Education actually mean? Well, it means I'm kind of the voice and kind of representation of students um, on educational matters. Uh, I sit on a lot of university committees um, when they're making decisions about education, whether that be referencing or like the no detriment policy, stuff like that. I also work closely with the um, academic rep coordinator, Chloe, to kind of help with all like student experience rep matters, stuff like that. Um, and like the 1839 awards, I take a big role in that, as well as working with support departments in the university, so like the careers and employability team, and like student futures. So why did I go for the role? Um, quite a few reasons. I think I've always been kind of active in the student union, um, quite big in sports and societies. I've played sport all my three years. Um, so I've kind of had that side. And then, kind of educationally, um, I was in the library a lot. One of my best mates was like, you spend way too much time in the library, so you should go for, you know, education rep. You kind of know what they want. So I was like, yeah, I'll go for it. And I got elected, so here we are. So what is my number one focus for the year? Well, I think across all of our manifestos as a team, we, um, there was a big emphasis on inclusion. Um, for me personally, that's a big issue. Um, my, one of my main things is I want to work with the different support departments in the university um, and the different kind of faculties to create a student reintegration program. So it would be a cross department kind of focus to help those students who have taken time off university to reintegrate as effectively as possible, whether or not that be regular meetings with their PATs or more detailed notes um, from their lecturers. Um, or meetings with the welfare team just to kind of ease that transition and make it as easy as possible so they just aren't kind of dropped in the deep end when they come back. What am I most looking forward to this year? Um, I think I'm really excited to get back into the office. I think it's been a bit weird um, starting a new role online, but I'm, so I'm really excited to get into the office, meet all the team, meet all the university staff um, in person, face to face, um, and then just get to meet as many people as I can, um, try and help out as many people as I can, just try and improve that student experience just a little bit. No, I don't have any pets at the moment. Um, we've had a few pets in the past, we've had a couple of cats, um, some hamsters, we even had a lizard at one point which was pretty cool. Um, would I want some more pets in the future? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I'd like another cat at some point. Um, I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person, I think. But our next door neighbour's just got a dog, a little puppy, and it's just been the excitement of the road during lockdown. <laughs> Would I rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Had to get that right. Um, I don't know. I'm not that tall, so like having one giant duck could put me at a disadvantage. But like, I reckon I could take a um, hundred little horses. <laughs> yeah, so definitely like the hundred little horses, I think. Um, if I was a cocktail, what would I be and why? I think I think I'd be an espresso martini. Just like it's my I think it's my favourite cocktail. Um, it's quite a busy cocktail. And I like to be busy. Um, yeah, I think yeah, espresso martini. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes, one hundred percent. Anyone says anything else, they're wrong. Um, pineapple on pizza. Ham and pineapple, definitely my favourite topping on a pizza. I know, controversial, but I'm putting it out there.